something that's just getting answered for this uh, These are serious problems. And, and this is one where I, I think I have to point something out. Uh, Mr. Roberti is a co-owner of a lobbying firm. City Bank, Citicorp is one of his clients. Citicorp is one of the banks that was responsible for the mess we are in with our mortgage crisis. And uh, Mr. Roberti, who has no work history in this state, who has no service history in this state, is now, has launched a super PAC in this state dedicated to buying in the city of Congress, attacking me and, uh, and Mr. Donovan, something we have never seen before. Citizens United, which we have all as Democrats decried as a terrible, horrible decision that threatens the, the transparency and accountability of this country. Mr. Roberti, I'm sorry, I don't see how you can stand here and tell the people of Northwest Connecticut, a place I've lived and invested in my family and my community for 18 years, how you, as a co-owner of a lobbying firm, the city for as your client of that firm, can assure us that we should trust you to stand up for community banks, that we should trust you to stand up and do what's right for one of us. I'm sorry, I went that hard to leave. I think we have enough of lobbying groups, and I urge people to read the Torrington Register Citizen, and I agree with you. It should scare every voter in the 5th District that a DC how the DC lobbyist is trying to install a personal congressman in our part of the plan. Mr. Well, somebody once asked me about casinos, you know, which people go for fun and entertainment. I said, well, the reason they make a lot of money is that people lose a lot of money. People made a lot of money off the housing crisis. And that means a lot of people lost the money. And that's a real shame. They were not treated fairly. We need to be more aggressive with those who ripped us off and make changes. I think the federal government and government in general should do more to help people. On the state level, I worked with a, a group that would actually went around, we went around to the state and we met with homeowners who were in trouble. And we got them in touch with legitimate lawyers who helped them out. And they were able to mediate many cases, their arrangements, and stayed in their house. But you know what? There are other people, lawyers calling people up and, and setting, giving people the wrong information and people giving money to people. You've probably ran into people you know who've lost money because they trusted someone who was selling them a bill of goods. We need to be more aggressive and say to all those homeowners, we have a plan. Here's where you can come in. We will help you. We will work in with, as we did in Connecticut, as I traveled the state. Here's the mediation. Here are the lawyers you can trust. Here's the banks that you can work with, and we should be able to give judges uh, the right to say we can change the agreement here and bring down the costs of housing. We need to do it in a systematic way. This is a real crisis in our country. We have to give faith, we have to give faith to the people in our country who say, I'm in trouble, where do I turn? We should have a place for them to turn where we can get help and rebuild our community. I want to thank all three of you. The time has come for closing statements. Um, I'm sorry, I just, I'm sorry, but as you can see, we're going to be pushing the end of the hour. I check that we'll my time, so. You can use your closing statement if you want to be part of that. All right, so timers, you can see your clocks. All right. All right, first closing statement, two minutes, Ms. Estee. First off, thank you, Legal Women Coach, for putting this on. I came here to talk about issues, and I did I made an intention not to bring up some of the other outside rhetoric that's out there. But since as Ms. Esty made a decision to go there, I will gladly talk about first and foremost, you seem to have been confused with my father. Uh, I do not, uh, I'm not the owner of a lobbyist. I'm not a lobbyist in any shape or form. I have uh, divested myself and so well anything that has anything to do with that business very intentionally because my life has been working with our veterans, helping them get jobs, find housing. It's been on the ground running the daily operations of a homeless shelter. It's been standing up for people who, who need a voice down there. And so if you're looking for someone to be a voice in Congress, for you a representative, I am your person because that's what I've dedicated my life to. I am not a lobbyist. Shame on you for talking, for, for making that lie like that. And when we were talking about energy and the environment and all the great things, I gave you the benefit of the doubt and I let you get your point across. Uh, 
uh, that these are things that you say you believe in. Yet the simple fact of the matter is you made a decision to purchase a stock in ConocoPhillips, in ExxonMobil, in uh, uh, Chevron Texaco, which are some of the biggest polluters we have out there. You made a decision to take donations from people. Your husband regulates as the commissioner of the DEP, such as Northeast Utilities and Energy. You made those decisions, okay? I made the decision to make sure that anything that could be misconstrued as a special interest that my family has relations to, that my family has any sort of relationship with, that I got that out of my life and put distance there so that the people of the 5th District can know that I'm going to do what I've done my entire life, which is fight for people who are getting hammered, which is to stand up for everyone that, 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 that needs uh, help and a voice. Thank you. Thank you, all three of you. On behalf of the Business Women Voters of Litchfield County, we want to thank all three candidates for this debate and for making it possible and for making it lively. Uh, we want to thank CTN for taking the, the, the event today. One final word, Democrat or Republican, your party's primary is August 14th. Get out there and vote and get your registered friends to vote. Thank you. Certainly, in, in the you know, broader public discussion, uh, I've been pretty clear where I stand uh, on ethics issues uh, around all three of us. That's what I, that I take to make sure I'm being as out there and you know, honest as possible. And so, you know, I'm sorry it went where it did, but you know, uh, she went there. And so, uh,